Hey guys, and welcome back to Volume, where we will be more stealthy than the last time. It's been a couple of days since I last played, so most of the old bugs and things are pretty much gone, like the negative times and stuff. And we're just going to get going. Why not? I might be skipping some of the story a little bit more because I kind of just want to focus on the stealth. Also, I sort of... Ah, oh, whatever. A great deal. Gisborne's PR department are projecting calm professionalism in the hunt for a pesky child. There have been a number of... There have been a number of robberies against the targets you've shown. Reaction times are getting shorter as the audience grows. Our targets wrong. They all deserve to be robbed, right? Describe the men and women who you have on file, the people Gisborne saw fit to train his guards to protect. Well, allies from early in Gisborne industry. Yeah. What? Oh, nah. This is a tricky one. Well, allies from early in Gisborne Industries history, the highest of its no one saw anything. Never happened. Well, allies from early in Gisborne Industries history, the highest of his associates tasked with the protection and taxation of England's states, only those who have earned his greatest respect, his gratitude. Oh, come on! This is so fiddly. Only those who have earned his greatest respect, his gratitude for help. If I just run, is that fine? It will you be? Oh, there's checkpoints. Oh, that's why these things on the side are here. Oh, and there's an alarm, but whatever. I didn't even notice our checkpoints there, and I wonder everything went so horribly wrong Rich, all the time. Evil bastards. That's right. Yeah, yeah. Then yes, they all deserve to lose what they stole. Gisborne tells the people that his three estates are a fair division, that the riches protect and should be honored. Nope. Nope. I refuse. I'm just gonna grab that gem, real quick, like. No worries. No. At least I got a whole bunch of checkpoints. They all deserve to lose what they stole. Gisborne tells the people that his three estates... What? How? I <laughs> genuinely don't understand. Oh, uh, but whatever. I got all the gems that I wanted. Uh. Yes, they all deserve to lose what they stole. Gisborne tells the people that his three estates are a fair division. That the riches protect and should be honored. Money is the division he chose. I aim to address that. And the innocents? The only innocents in this country are the people hungry enough to copy these recordings. And I'm showing them how to do this without hurting anyone. Uh, yeah, it must be nice to see the world so black and white. Uh, well, as the one of us who's actually seen the world in the last nine years, I think it'd be best to stick to my interpretation, yeah? Before you reset me and gave me access to the net, I was as... Before you reset me and gave me access to the net, I was as certain as you are now, and all it took was a chat with, what, a paperclip or something? My reset button's tricky to get to. I used a pen. Oh, mightier than swords. We're doing good work, Alan. I think we are. Yes. We just need to be careful. So that's kind of interesting, actually, because I was actually playing a little bit, like, off-camera after I was done recording last time, and, whoops, and it actually started that conversation as well, I just quickly, like, went out again, and it actually just restarted the conversation, which is kind of nice, because I was worried that that was not going to be on the video, because I was actually playing, like, uh, older, like, levels I already played as well, and it still just continued the dialogue, so they just talk to each other every now and then, I guess. That's pretty cool. That they just do that, but simultaneously, when we're recording this game, that's a good thing to know. But yeah, I've, I've kind of been um, ignoring the story a bit, I guess. Oh, there's like a very okay. Shut up, Al. <laughs> I've been kind of ignoring the story. I kind of just want to do the stealth stuff because it's a bit more interesting, you know? Um, no, yeah, I was gonna say that's probably not gonna work out very well. Oh, I guess I just have to lure him back, whatever. I'm, what? Ah, oh, come on, don't be so rude. I'm guessing you probably could just walk around him if you'd, like, do the ducking thing nice enough, but... It uh, seems like a tricksy one, it does. Oh god, what? What do we have here, though? I mean, I gotta get the gems when they're all... Oh, no. <laughs> this is gonna be fiddly, ain't it? Also, his vision cone is, like, invisible because he's looking up and it's white and it's all the same color and stuff. Nah. Let's see if we can find, like, a mute thing or something here. Maybe that's what's going on in this level. 
Because otherwise, this is going to be a tricky one, and I am not looking forward to that. Run to tap. Ooh, yes. Did I hear the sound of tap water? We're all robots. We don't drink things. Mm. That's right. That's exactly what happened. I think the mute's right there, but I might be wrong. I can never really tell what item's what from just the icon, because I've not played this game enough yet. And by the time I have played this game enough, it won't really matter. This is a bit tense, eh? Eh. Not really. I mean, you can very much see how wide this thing's gonna be. And I'm having a pretty good time doing this the way it is. So yeah, that's no problems. No worries. Can I sneak around that guy? No problem. And then we just uh, go for it, I guess. Oh no. Oh, I think I got it. Yep, no problems. That's all according to plan. Where's the X? It's at the start, isn't it? It's at the start, you guys. I went in the wrong direction. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I never meant it for be this way. But that's just simply who I've become. Don't you don't see me. I'm not shut up. No problem. <laughs> just use the walls and everything's gonna be okay. I'll keep the story on screen so like long enough that you can read it, but I just wanna play as far through this game as possible. And while it is kind of like interesting to learn who I guess you're well, I guess your compatriots are, like, breaking into. I don't really care. I I, I don't really care, I'll be honest. I, I kind of just want to do a bunch of levels and do them at a nice pace. And have a good time with it all. Be all stealthy during the whole process. Maybe hide in the door every now and then, but probably not. And some of those emails are mostly just, like, big blocks of text about stuff. <laughs> I don't really care about all this stuff anymore. Apparently there's vases and things as well. But next time I should bring a bigger bag if I want to steal a vase. Can you see me? Oh yeah. I guess that makes sense because he, uh, I can actually walk through it. And I cannot. <laughs> I, it was just to reset their positions, you see, because I knew that he would immediately walk back and this way I'll get a better time. This could be a problem. Yeah, that's not great. Did it actually take longer to overload the force field after I got spotted? I think it might have. That's kind of interesting if that's the case, because... It definitely did look like it was taking longer afterwards. Um, uh, Let's start here. Can I sneak around you? Yeah. Not very good at this whole thing. Oh, yeah. I mean, I'm not either, because I'm clearly not doing this at the right time. But, hey. When something works out, it works out, and you don't need to question it. Look. Here's some updates. If you want to read some stuff about UIs, you can do that now. I personally am not exactly entertained. I don't know if the mute's the best choice for this area. The OUD might be better because at least then I'll be able to just sneak around some people a little bit more easy like. But then again, I'm, I'm guessing if they put two items in this place, they're probably both going to work and both have their own strengths and weaknesses and whatnot, so... What do I have to worry about? Nothing. I'm just a boy who's opening a lot of doors. I'm not going to concern myself about any other things. Because quite frankly, it's just a big waste of time, innit? It's just a big waste of time. Level unlock vaulted. Let's see how far we can get in this story. I also want to do like the staff picks and stuff and just custom made levels. Because that sounds really fun. I actually saw a couple levels, like pictures of levels of people who just recreated parts of Metal Gear Solid 1, which I thought was really fun. And I want to do those things. Apparently there's something about a gadget that's worth investigating or whatnot, but there's a turret there? No. Looked like there was a turret there. It was just an OUD. I don't know why, sometimes the vision cones confuse me, but I think it's because of like different heighted things. Like the, um... Like over here, this tiny wall. Where the vision cones turn it turns into two different ones because he can only watch over part of it or whatever. It, it's just a little bit hard to see from my little eyes, and I don't know how to deal with these feelings and emotions. Uh, what was that thing right there? This is the mute. That, I think that's a little bit more me. That's, that speaks to me a little bit more. Because then I can just sneakily sneak past them, and otherwise I'm gonna have to, like... Be real fiddly about it. Please turn around. Yeah, thanks, like that. Look. Words about Guy Gisborne. Whether he's married, whether he has children. 
I don't care. He's the bad one. I'm the good one. That's all you need to know. It's a nice and easy level. I think, yeah, I definitely prefer the mute over every other item so far. Just because I like running real fast, like. And I am better at controlling. <laughs> Plus, it makes my time faster if I just run past everything. So, overall, it seems like it would be the better choice. He said something about stealing things, but it wasn't... It hadn't gotten to the point of, like, subtitles yet. They can see you from a long way away, but conveniently they are incredibly slow to fire. Really? Oh yeah, they are slow to fire. They are very slow. For someone with a big old sniper rifle, he is... Not very snipey. Uh, this could be a problem, actually. Oh, no worries, he's... Oh. That's really odd. That's... <laughs> that's a really odd system of doing things, but alright, whatever, man. If that's how you want to do it, and that's how you want to do. Whoop, whoop. Man, their vision cones sometimes are really strange. Especially these guys. Pugle. Give me them birds. Allow me to be loud. No oh, god. Yeah, these guys not seemingly the most dangerous of enemies so far. Have you made this gallery too red? Of course not. That's impossible. But yeah, these guys are not really a big problem right now. Oh wow, he does not care about sound when he's in like alert mode or whatever. Which is oh gosh, oh jeez. I mean it's not really a problem either, but still. It's a little bit fiddly. Oh, is, these are like the worst enemies I've ever seen. <laughs> they, they are just the least threatening enemy. You can just walk past them and they don't do anything. I guess after a while they'll probably shoot you and there probably are levels where they're considerably more dangerous. But right now they're just there. And it really doesn't make much of a difference, does it? <laughs> they, they just tried. Ooh, Gisborne. Gisborne? You like arches, right? Gisborne? Rob Loxley, son of Loxley, a trusted advisor to me, holder of high office and brave servant of England. Wait, wait, how's he doing this? I thought you said the old connections were out of service. Don't worry, Rob. It took a bit of work, but my engineers are plugged into the old communication system. We, we can talk. And we'll sort out that buggy AI of yours the moment my men arrive. I'll have my captain turn off the lights personally. We won't stop. You will. You're angry, you're idealistic, but you'll stop. This country relies on your family's support and protection of the common man. Together with the others, they ensure strength through order, shared purpose. Words. Together with the others, they ensure strength through order, shared purpose. Those who protect. Yes, it's a noble role. Now, switch off that empty and come home. No. Don't have time for this, boy. I do. Well, I have, a uh, Alan? Two hours, ten minutes, eight... I have two hours. <laughs> two hours till you work out which volume I'm in. I have a small audience, but I'm making a difference. Also, this is a cool toy. Have you seen the whole exploding triangle thing it does? It was amazing. Switch it off, Rob. There's only so much your family can do to protect you. If I... Antique blocked. Long enough to get some more work done. Definitely. Like I'm, I'm just having a good enough time listening to the people speak honestly because it does seem like the more important bits of the story are said in the dialogue, I imagine, and the reading stuff is for people who are interested. And right now, I just don't feel like it. I, I just don't feel like reading large blocks of text for no real reason, you know. But apparently this one's tricky. So far, uh, every level with archers has been pretty nice. I I, I, I hope the rest of the enemies are just going to be archers, because quite frankly, they... Uh, for someone who's a sniper, they really can't see anything. It's quite impressive how terrible their vision is, all things considered. But yeah, more archers, please. These guys ex at least attack me, and that's... Look, that's a problem. I have to press LT to survive that. I wasn't ready to press buttons. I was not ready for such commitment. Meow. Meow. See, no problems. With every enemy, you just gotta be ducky. If you're some sort of duck, then you have all the tools in your possession that you need to survive these treacherous lands. And let me know. I'll let you know that I am a very experienced quacker. Oh god, uh, although everything is going wrong now. But as long as you just... Look at this. Sneaky, sneaky. Very sneaky and picky. And then, 
when you give me a complicated scenario, I'll just press LT a whole bunch and they don't know how to fire because they're simple robots. And robots can't destroy me. They're just a bunch of butts made of rows. And that's impossible to be defeated by. Yeah, he's uh, he seems pretty confused about the whole ordeal, but I'm having a pretty great time just running around and things. Plus, I don't think they actually notice you touching them, per se. As long as you don't touch their cone of vision, I think, you seem to be entirely okay. Which is fair enough. But I think someone should program these robots with a little bit of feeling, because right now it's not being overly protective of their goods. And their gems are going to be disposed of quite quickly if they are... Just going to leave it at that. Look at this. Can I sneak past them? Yeah. Oh, God. He nearly had a chance to shoot there. That would have been bad. He has so much to say, though. I mean, he has, he has a rich vocabulary. <laughs> and he is very eager to say many words in my direction. But I was not interested in his words. Not at all. I just wanted to make a quick run for it. Make myself a sandwich. I'm going to go ahead. Make some of these lower walls jumpable. Oh. Jumpable. Oh, my God. This suddenly became the best game in the world. I guess there were no other jumpable walls in this game so far. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, wow. I did not even remotely crouch there. I am so sorry. I, I made an attempt to crouch. I really did. It just all went wrong. Sadly, these robots are very smart and realize that the, the very... The, the very big, white, shiny walls are actually treacherous and dangerous. Although I wonder if I can immediately crouch if I go over it or something. Mm, press A to leap over these walls. and Enemies can't do so, yeah. Uh, was not a really entertained by that one, I guess, but... At least they just slowly walk towards the wall after that, so it's like, oh, I don't really care. <laughs> You're gonna get stuck there, mate. You can't see me. I'm invisible. Look at how invisible I am, yeah? I got an OUD, that's called, that's called a noise machine right there. I wish I could jump over one of these walls though, because now I've been spoiled. I've been spoiled by the act of having jumpable walls. And now I don't know how to live my life without having every wall be jumpable. And quite frankly, this has ruined my entire existence. But fortunately, these guys, uh, these guys do not have legs capable of doing such technical maneuvers like jumping. So I should be a-okay. Uh, yeah, that, that kind of went about as well as to be expected. I'm not really sure what I was going for there, but it was not the greatest of plans I've ever had, I think. I think I've had better ideas in my life. Like that one. This might work? Mm, nope. <laughs> I was a little bit worried about that one for... Pretty good reasons, all things considered, seeing as how it all went wrong. It, it all went wrong. Something over there. Maybe if I do it over here. I think I lured him a little bit further away that time as well, so I should be okay. I mean, they're gonna be, try to be like fancy and things and try and shoot me. I actually got an achievement for jumping just now, so you know, I'm good at it. I'm, I'm a pretty professional jumpy man. No problem. <laughs> 